everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Cindy Crane at the Heart, and today I am making a winter card, part of my winter card series. I think it's going to be the last one for a little while. Um, after this card, I'm going to go ahead and do a recap of all the cards that I made for this series. And I'll be starting my Valentine's Day series um, right after. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I've done is I've used sort of what was left of the card pack I've been working with. So I've been working with Hello Winter. And I've got mostly scrap left. So I don't know if I'm going to try to make one more card out of this. Do some tags. Uh, not exactly sure, but I'm going to probably work through this stuff and then this will be tossed. So let's go ahead and get started with this card. So I'm starting with a A2 size card that folds over from the top and then I have some of this not quite navy. Now I have a ton of Stampin' Up! cardstock back from my days of being a demonstrator. I think just about anybody who um, was crafting in the last 20 years probably has been a um, a rep for a different cra any different craft company around at the time, mostly Stampin' Up! And I am no different. I even think that some of our um, you know big names in the crafting industry, like Jennifer McGuire, um, I, I think probably one of the Nicoles, <laughs> you know, was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator at one time or another. That was kind of how everybody got really familiar um, with crafting and what was kind of out there before we started developing our own style. So I had this piece. It wasn't a full sheet. So I sliced off the part that I used and then I had enough to kind of layer on the front. And I did keep, I think, one other full sheet of paper, which is going to be for another project. And so I will see how much I can get out of that scrap. Okay, so here we go. Then I have this piece, which I am really liking. It's going to go right here. And it's just a strip of the light blue. It looks like snowflakes. The other side has this kind of sweater looking material. And I'm just kind of layering this on here. And this is just me um, using up the scraps to make a card. And then I had enough of this, which I love, love, love this blue plaid. And I'm going to go ahead and place that right here on this seam. So then what that does is gives me just a nice clean card base, right? It's very simple and easy. And then what I'm using here is my nest abilities. So I know that everybody under the sun has circle dies. They have fancy ones with stitches and wonky lines and all kinds of stuff. But at the very beginning of time, there was Spellbinders Nest Abilities. They were the very first, you know, ones that at least I knew about. And so I had little scallop Nest Abilities and the circle ones. And I still use them. I still love them. Um, I don't really think I have very many. I don't have any circle dies, I don't think. I think because I have these ones, I haven't felt the need to, to buy any of the other ones. So that just gets layered right on there. And then I've got my cute little image. This is Ian from the Greening Farm. And this is the mini remix Brutiful. So this is a smaller imaged stamp. And so he's tiny. So he works for really well with scene cards. If you're making a scene or um, if you're going to layer him on a mat. So that's what I've done here. He's going to go in my little circle. I've got him mounted on some foam. And then that's just going to go right there. And so for my sentiment, I'm just doing this um, Java Nice Day. This is 
from Cards TV Brew Ha Ha. And it's just the sentiments didn't really work. You know, the ones that are in there in the grading form, Brutiful Set didn't really work because I wanted something a little generic that, um, like if I wanted to use this for a birthday card, for example, I could just then stamp happy birthday. It says, draw a nice day and I can put happy birthday inside because um, this would be a good card for a man or a boy. So anyway, that's my card. And let me go ahead and go through all the different projects. Let's see if I can find them all that I made. Okay. So first, of course, was, let's see, do I have them all? I don't have them. I have this one too. This one right here, which is Warm Winter Wishes. This was made using one of the three winter six by six paper pads that I had. So this was a one paper pad project. And I have a video all about this this right here, which I love. And I'm going to hopefully make another album for Valentine's Day. So these are the cards. I made this Thanks a Lot Take card. And these were all used that using the Hello Winter. I made a tag, your rare find. I made this card, which I love, your snow much fun. That one's really great. Um, here's this neat and tangled. I think that's neat and tangled. Or no, that's flaky friends. That's honeybee stamps. This is this Hello Kitty snowman. Your friendship warms my heart. Here's this winter cheer. Let it snow. You're the one and only you. Home is whenever I'm with you. You're so cool. Winter cheer. Java, nice day. So, so far out of that one paper pad, I've made one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards and a tag. And I still have probably enough in there to make one or two more cards. So we'll see when it's all said and done how many I make. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy with Crane the Heart.